hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in ASP.NET how to implement such filter functionality into drop down list using jQuery chosen CDN plugin and here we got the final output now let's search for G Gita Govinda P Peter if I type Z no results match because we don't have any employee name starts with Z. If I type C, channel. That's it. We have implemented such filter functionality in this drop down list control using jQuery's chosen CDN plugin. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I'm creating a new application. Go to File, New, Project. I'm selecting ASP.NET Web Application and the .NET Framework I'm using 4.6.1. And the application name is drop down list search filter jQuery. It's a project name. Click OK. And from the templates, I'm selecting empty, click OK. And the project is created successfully. Let's open Solution Explorer. Now in this project, I'm adding a new web form page. I click the project name, add, new item. I'm selecting web form. Web form. The web form page name is search drop down list add and here we got the source page of the newly created such ddl.aspx page now between form and do tags i'm adding center tag h1 how to implement such filter functionality in drop down list using jQuery chosen CDN plugin horizontal line now after the horizontal line I'm adding a drop down list control open toolbox here is a drop down list control in the standard folder I'm adding drop down list control after adding the drop down list control, now switch to the design mode. Highlight the drop down list control. Notice here there is a small button which is a drop down list task. Click that one. Choose data source. I am binding the data from SQL Server database. So I am selecting a new data source. And I am selecting the data source type is the SQL database. The ID of the data source is a SQL data source one. I'm not changing anything. Click OK. Let's create a new connection. The connection name I'm adding of my SQL server. After adding the SQL server name, now I'm selecting the database name. Sample DB is my user database. I'm selecting that one. Test connection is succeeded. OK. OK. And here we got the connection string click next and the connection string name is a sample db connection I'm not changing anything click next now it's time to select the table name I'm selecting the table EMP table and the column I'm selecting EMP name in preview results we can see the employee name column finish click OK that's it we have binded the data from SQL server database into drop down list control now before adding jQuery choose and CDN plugin to this drop down list control let's check the output the EMP name column is binded to this drop down list control or not Google Chrome and here we got the output of that code the header tags and the drop down list is binded the EMP name
Now it's time to implement the search filter functionality using jQuery chosen CDN plugin into this drop down list controller. When we are implementing jQuery functionality, the first thing we require the latest jQuery CDN link. So let's search for latest jQuery CDN Google. And from such results, I'm selecting hosted libraries. In Google hosted libraries, notice at the corner there is a contents panel which contains jQuery. Select that one. Here we can find different jQuery CDN versions. I'm selecting the version 3.3.1. Let's copy this snippet and add. Let's stop debugging. Go to source mode. I'm adding that CDN link in the header section. After that, we require the chosen CDN plugin. So let's switch back to again browser. Now this time, jQuery chosen CDN. And from the search results, I'm selecting the first option. And this chosen plugin is a JavaScript plugin that makes select boxes user friendly. So it's currently available in both jQuery and prototype flavors. So I'm selecting the version 1.8.7. I require jQuery min.js and chosen min.css file. First I'm selecting the jQuery.min.js file. Let's copy that one. I'm adding that script. script source is equal to I'm pressing the script tab after that I require the CSS file also this one choose and min.cs file let's copy that one and add link href is equal to style sheet Let's close the link. So after adding the necessary CDN links, script inside the script dollar between single quotes, I'm adding the drop down list control ID, which is a drop down list one hash percentage is equals to percentage drop down list one dot client id dot chosen function this chosen function is belongs to this jquery min.js file that's it we have done the complete coding part i'm reloading the browser link So here the output, there is no search filter functionality option is added. The reason, we need to add the script part. After the drop down list control. Now let's check the results. I am reloading the browser link again. And here we got a new output. See here we got the search functionality. Let's add the width of this drop down list control. Width is equal to 150. I'm reloading the browser again. And here we got the final output. Now let's search for G Gita Govinda P Peter. If I type Z, no results match because we don't have any employee name starts with Z. If I type C, Chara. That's it. We have implemented such filter functionality in this drop down list control using jQuery's chosen CDN plugin.